We're going to talk about celebrities that are billionaires in a second, but it's the perfect lead in here, this segment. So your kids are asking you, how do they even know about gold diggers? Oh, I have no idea. But out of nowhere, my son just says like, hey, mom, uh, how do you can how do you tell if someone's a gold digger? Was this exact question. Did you go context, please? I like, think. Well, I just was like, went to my yeah. usual default and said, go ask Alexa. Oh. oh. <laughs> just send him away. And if this were 10 years ago, I would say maybe that he heard this song and then wonder, but it's not like this song's played anywhere anymore. Yeah. It's not current. So what did Alexa tell him? Well, to spot a gold digger, you watch out for someone who asks about what you own, like what you earn, <laughs> your stock options, early on in your relationship. This is specifically answering how to tell if someone is a gold digger. Does he have a girl that likes him and he's wondering if she's a gold digger? Ooh. No. No. There was something I was about to say, but he asked me, do not say this on the Bobby Bone Show. <laughs> so I can't say what I was about to say, okay. but I can say this. See how they respond when you ask them about their career. For example, if they're happy to stay in a low-level job or not have one at all, they may be looking for someone to fund their lifestyle. <laughs> So if you're wondering if someone's a gold digger, you're supposed to go, so what do you feel like you're going to do with your career? And they're like, I'm chill right here. I don't make much. I don't really like it that much, but I'm cool. Gold yeah, digger. But I want to live this champagne lifestyle. But I also want to have, got it. Right. Okay. Uh, she even suggested, if you want to test out your partner, give them an inexpensive but thoughtful, light-hearted gift, kind of like a flower. And if they're a gold digger, they'll dismiss it. Cubic zirconia. Well, no, that's a trick them. Yeah. <laughs> to make them think it's real. Yeah, that's a trick them. That's not to test them. That's a trick them. Also, be cautious if your partner often has sudden emergencies that cause them to need money from you, which is a typical excuse used by gold diggers. Well, that's a swim. Well, that's a scam. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else you got? The true definition of a gold digger, in case anybody knows, it's a person who is in a romantic relationship, marriage or whatever, to a wealthy person, is, and they're primarily motivated by the desire for money. Like they just want to be That's with all them they want. because mm -hmm. of the money. Yeah, and I have tips to avoid okay. gold diggers. Don't pretend to be rich. But what if you are? Should you? Well, that's the next one is don't show off. Got it. Don't mention that you're rich. Yeah, if you're pretending to be rich and you're not, everybody loses. Right. <laughs> Even the gold digger. You're you like lose. The gold digger loses. You wasted a bunch of money. Yeah. F you know, flexing like when you a, really can't. Like yeah. instead of a sugar daddy, you'd be like a debt daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, listen to your friends because oftentimes they can spot one maybe before you can. Uh, don't dress too nicely. Live in a normal house. Don't dress too nicely. What do you mean? If you're trying to like, you know, <laughs> repel gold diggers. Uh, live in a normal house. Make sure your expensive cars are stored away. <laughs> what in the <laughs> and then lastly, don't go to fancy restaurants too often. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. I'll remember that. So what was what were the tips you gave your son? Yeah, good, yeah, guys, please remember that. <laughs> yeah. What were the tips you gave your son about this? Oh, I well, no, I Alexa. Oh, you sent him all to Alexa and then you never talked about I, it again with him? No, I had, no, I was over there taking notes. I was like, wait, is this again? And I'm like writing this stuff down and typing it and trying to be like, oh, this is good. Like I want to collect this stuff because some people might be getting gold dugged right now. Dugged. Do you worry about your gold getting dug now that you're single? No. Why not? Uh -huh. Why not? Uh, you going to eat at nice places? No, Maybe. she puts the expensive cars away. Maybe some of these <laughs> tips you need to keep and put in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Uh, if I go out with someone that is not motivated to work, <laughs> that's going to be a problem. I don't care how much they make as long as they – success doesn't mean money, but if they're passionate about what they do and they actually, like, put forth effort. But what if they're really cool, though? Yeah, and, no, and no, fun. Like, really hot. They I have eight abs. No, I cannot <laughs> – That I would be 0% attracted to someone that just wanted hey. to just stay home all day. Do you guys think and, that's why Lunchbox dresses the way he does? <laughs> keep the gold diggers away? He's married. That's right. You know? What do you mean that's right? I don't understand. What, what, what's right? <laughs> what's right about any of that? All of it. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> like, I want to keep the gold diggers away. Uh -huh. But also, I mean, gold digger, you can come be a gold digger all you want. There's a separate <laughs> bank account, so you ain't getting it. So, <gasps> oh, yeah, that's dig, right. dig, dig. His wife has a different account. No, but him. you will buy them stuff. I don't really buy my wife stuff. <laughs> I mean. At all? Just I couldn't tell you the last thing I bought my wife. 
Wasn't one, didn't one of y'all do, like, if you're going out with someone for the first time, you go to a... I did. I used to all the time. Like, first date? That's it. I, go, like, a little crappy taco place. Oh. See how they I respond. Ne- I'd never try to impress anybody. Also, I didn't have a, I didn't have very much money then either. So my point then wasn't the gold digger. It was like, <laughs> I'm not going to overextend myself <laughs> and go fancy yeah. for a couple reasons. One, because I don't really got it. And then two, because I don't want them to think this is what normal is and it, their expectations be high. Right. Yeah. I just think that Lunchbox, you should maybe invest in your wife a little bit, you know? I do. I give her kisses here and there. Like, <laughs> this is about the show. Hey.